So the Steelers select Buddy Johnson. Now, I'm on the higher side with this, right? I'm going to give this a B plus because he's always in great positions, but sometimes he just plays like, well, I don't want to gas him or anything like that, but soft. You know, he plays soft sometimes in the sense that he doesn't step up to make the hit, even though he's in a perfect position, right? So that's just a coaching thing that can be easily fixed. But let's get into why I love this, because let's see right here, right? This tackle is going to be responsible for making this block on Buddy Johnson, but he's so damn fast that he just instantly gets by and he comes at a really damn good angle from the other side of the field, right? I talk about his speed. He is undersized and sometimes he lacks the mentality that you would want from a linebacker which is you know go up and smack somebody but when he decides to hit he's gonna make a really good one and his awareness is also really good as well along with just having really great instincts right so this is the perfect pair up with Devin Bush because what Devin Bush really has to do is clean up duty and Buddy Johnson can go up and make a play and just navigate all throughout the havoc right and that's gonna be a really good trait especially with the Steelers when you see our front four and again you know he's gonna fill out he's gonna add more weight to him and another thing that I want to point out is his patience right and his patience really allows him to be in a lot of great positions right because he does not rush anything he lets the game come to him and it works out for him too right a lot of the times we see with Vince Williams he shoots the gap and it doesn't work out for him and when it does it's a highlight but it's only a highlight about five percent of the time that's why it was ineffective in the playoffs again so good navigation skills as i said but here's my issue with him right so he's gonna have really good anticipation on this play like i said patience putting himself in a great position but he just sometimes doesn't want to hit right he sometimes just looks so lackadaisical on the field and it kind of confuses me so when i first saw this clip i was like why did we draft him but when you see the other clips, when you see his upside, you're like, oh, that's why we drafted him. But right here, he's got to step up and make this hit. And sometimes, again, as I said, he's just lazy and doesn't seem to want to hit. But he does have good coverage abilities in zone coverage. As we see here, he picks up that mesh and then picks up that hitch in the middle of the field. So this is kind of a nice thing, right? Because we all know Devin Bush coming back from an ACL injury. We're going to need somebody who's fast that can pick up wide receivers in zone or man and I think he can do that again we know that Devin Bush struggled with coverage abilities and even if he was good in coverage abilities you know we don't want him doing everything you know he's a young 22 year old linebacker that can do a lot of things for you but you want to give him help and I think Buddy Johnson can do that now you see in this clip it's another thing where you got to step up and make that tackle, right? His tackling needs to improve on some points, but he has the speed to get there sideline to sideline. And this is one where, you know, you want to see the tackle, but again, it's easily fixable and you like to see him at least getting there. And another thing to point out with our linebacker situation is Robert Spillane really does not have that sideline to sideline speed. The best example is week eight versus the Ravens, right? They're really going to attack sideline to sideline with their read options so buddy johnson is super valuable versus a team like that and with vince williams getting older again you're gonna need another guy that can step in fresh legs speed fast can be physical at times when he really puts in the work and really great awareness and patience but with this last clip, watch how he just turns on the Jets when he sees Kyle Pitts get that ball. I mean, he realizes it late, yes, but it's still impressive to see that he has that makeup speed. Now, I know I talked about his speed a lot during the whole video, but I promise I'm done saying that word. Now, I got a Kendrick Green video coming out next, so stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoy this one, and that is it for me on this one. Peace.